And I guess that really comes down to my whole, to the whole totality of this video is, is the game fun? Uh, so far, I would say. What's poppin' people? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. And before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that like button so that way you can show YouTube, yeah, I'm really into this type of content. Please give my man some clout. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also, when you do subscribe, make sure to turn on that notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever any of my content goes live. But with that being said, let's jump into today's video. I, let's just jump right into it. I wanna talk about my experience with this game so far. I am a few hours in and I've gotten some major story components and it's just not... Okay, first of all, let me start off by saying I don't want to say that the game is bad. The game is definitely not bad, but it's not... I don't want to use the word mediocre because it's good, but for a Ubisoft game, it kind of is what you expect. Watch Dogs 2 was a really, really monumentous game for me just because I related to the main character, I related to all the other characters. It felt like everything was kind of real and embedded in this place of things that could actually exist and actually could happen. Watch Dogs Legion does not do that. Watch Dogs Legion does a lot of things that I would per personally would not like in a Watch Dogs game. I don't think that this is the game to really set Watch Dogs like, oh, this is why you have to play this game because now this game, honestly, Legion feels like the online version of Watch Dogs, like online only, because there is no main character to get attached to. There's like three or four kind of like E characters, but like your main character does not matter. Like you're not integral to the story. Like you're not a talking piece. Your character has no uh, opinion of their own. Like uh, there's obviously no decision making so far in the game. It just doesn't seem like your character matters to the world. Like any other character could be doing what your character is. It just, it literally feels like that because that's how the game is also advertised. That's also how the game is played because you can literally just recruit somebody off of the street, do their recruitment mission, and then they're, bam, they're on the squad, which is cool because every character has their own uh, style and, and play style and skills and attributes and things that they're good at which is great cool awesome but none of these skills are upgradable like uh there's a couple of characters that are good at boxing good at driving good at hacking but you can't take those skills and then align them with another character if that makes any sense so like if i had like a boxer who was horrible at hacking or he was a horrible driver it's not like there's like a skill meter or anything and like your character can level up over time you know what i mean like so that's like a real bummer for me and i just want to be able to customize my character fully the best thing about uh watch dogs 2 was being able to use all of the multiple gadgets and stuff like that and really formulate my play style with this with Legion, you kind of have to have specific characters. You have to have a character that's good with drones. You have to have a character that's good at driving. You have to have a character that's really adept at hand-to-hand -hand combat. And if you don't have these characters, there are certain missions that you can't pass very easily. Also, if you don't bring certain gadgets on certain side quests specifically, because the main quest, they'll usually like, oh, you have to use a spider bot for this section. So they'll have a very conveniently placed spider bot dispenser nearby. So that way any character can use it. Um, but there's also like other abilities and stuff that would be more useful in that situation. So if you are a bringing a spider bot with you and then you get to a point where like your whole level is nothing but spider bots well it's like shit i could have brought another gun or i could have bought the brought the ar invisibility cloak there's like several other skills i could have brought so then you have to back out of the mission and then jump back in and then that, that presents a whole another issue because then there's like weird loading times and i'm playing on pc so my game is as optimized as it's going to get right now which i'm always a little reluctant to uh even jump into soft games on pc because uh i think it was splinter cell blacklist was one of the first games that did this i guess as they've been releasing games it's kind of been funny duddy with my computer like sometimes it'll run really effectively other times the frame rate is super choppy I, and it's just been every ubisoft game since then all of the all of these games just have a weird way of running and you know what? The cutscenes, they're the only things that have abysmal frame drops. And so far with like actually playing the game uh, when I was streaming it, I 
there was like a certain amount of time where like the game was so buggy that I just was not able to have any fun. And I guess that really comes down to my whole, the whole totality of the video is, is the game fun? Uh, so far, I would say kinda. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that obviously is like, oh, okay, I can see where the fun would be here, but it's just not there. It's like lacking. It's almost, it's Watchdog Syndrome. It's like the first Watchdogs was this amazing game idea and this concept that was really, really great. And you thought it could go so far and just be like, this would change gaming forever. And it just didn't do that. And then you think Watch Dogs 2, also amazing concept. Like you, you change the way the story is played out throughout the game. So even side quests count towards main story events. And like this could change gaming forever. And they just don't go all the way with it. So with this game, there's a lot of stuff where it's like, there's potential here, but they really cut themselves off for some reason. Like the fact that this game, because it's, essentially an MMO because every character is fine, every character is recruitable, every character can be talked to, every character can have like, you know what I mean? Every character can join your crew. There's so much more expansive stuff that you can do outside of just like, here's a few skills here and there. So I don't see why this game day one isn't multi- oh, that's another thing. The game day one is not multiplayer. There is no multiplayer. Why is there no multiplayer? Even this seems like a game where they should have taken the Far Cry approach and let you play the entire campaign with up to three or four of your friends if you want to, because this game calls for that. This game absolutely 100% has like these bits and pieces, like every single mission in the game so far that I've played could be done in co-op, no problem. It would actually be more fun if done in co-op. Although you don't get the weapon wheel like you did in the first two games. So a lot of your like grenades and all the other like hacking tools and stuff that you get, you don't really have access to unless your character has access. So it's like, eh, okay. Some guns you can't even use in the game and the game doesn't allow you to just like kill somebody and then pick up their gun. Like, if they're going to do a system like this where a specific character is specifically using this type of weapon, you should be able to pick up enemy weapons. Because now I'm stuck with this funky ass pistol the entire time, and it's not even lethal. It's a stun gun that just, you know, it's an automatic stun gun. And it's like, uh, okay. And even then, for that specific gun in that scenario that I just explained, the stun gun doesn't even stun instantly. It takes like three, four, five shots. And it's like, what, what is this for? I don't understand. So that, that, those are just some of the gripes that I have. I feel like this game creatively could have just gone so much further. There's, there's so many things that you could do with this game, but we'll have to see as it develops. I don't think it's going to get any better from here. I think this game is going to stay a, <sighs> this is probably um, right on par with the first Watch Dogs. It's like a five or a six. Like the Watch Dogs 2 was like an eight, almost a nine for me. Actually, yeah, almost a nine. Only because Marcus carried the story. The actual characters carried the story. With this, there is none of that so far. And I'm several hours into the game. There's just none of it. It's not there. So I just, I think this game has a long way to go. I, I think it's not finished. I think a lot of the concepts and stuff that they really, really, really wanted in this game are just not in here yet. Uh, I think they're probably gonna come in the online mode, which is coming in December. So uh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna beat this game before November 15th. I, I'm not gonna be playing this game in December. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not. Maybe when you guys drop the multiplayer, I'll probably do a video for it. Like I'll play a little bit, but I don't see myself playing that. Unless they do a whole revamp of like the mode. Unless they do like, okay, here's a multiplayer campaign and it's this many hours long. It's gotta be long as shit. It's gotta be like Destiny 2 long. And we have loot and we have like cosmetics and all this other stuff because so far I'm not having fun. I'm really not, just to throw it all the way out there. And then there's these weird microtransaction things for costumes and cosmetics in the single player, which you would think, okay, there's no multiplayer to show this off to. There's no uh, online invasions to like, you know, blend in with specific crowds and stuff like that. Like this, there's so much missing from the core of this game that was Watch Dogs that it's no longer the same game. It just doesn't feel 
like Watch Dogs. It's almost, it's just not fun. I'm just not having a great time with this game. Maybe I'm playing it incorrectly and I'm just missing the whole premise, but a lot of the stuff that made Watch Dogs 1 and 2 fun is not in this game. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing it. I'm definitely going to beat the story. I'm definitely going to make some guide videos and some other stuff just so that way people get an idea of like, oh, okay, this is how the game works. But other than that, I don't really see myself continuing to play this game. It's just kind of lackluster and it doesn't feel fun to play. So I, yeah, this is probably the worst I've ever felt playing a Watch Dogs game. And I love this franchise. The first game really wowed me. The second game, oh man, the second game blew me out of the water because I was like, yo, there's a black main character. And that was, that was very significant to me. Now we're in London and I was like, okay, the setting is different. So that'll be fine, I guess. The music is great for the game. Of course, I can't play it on stream because copyright issues. So thanks Ubisoft. I'm always finding myself having to turn off the music in your games that's just great just i don't know man i don't know make what you will of this video uh but anyway give today's video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you do i'll be back with more watchdogs content later this week. guys also if you're not sub to the channel you should definitely do that and if you are sub to the channel you should definitely consider turning on notifications did you know only 20 percent of the people that are subscribed to me are getting notifications guys we need to fix that okay uh also remember that i live stream on mondays tuesdays and thursdays every evening uh 8 p.m pacific standard time so uh but with that said uh my name is just a sama i will catch you guys on the next one make sure to keep it canon